Hey everyone, it's Susie. Welcome back. I have not been to Savers in, I would say, about two months. So, I um, paid a visit this past week and uh, here's what I saw. Figurines. Very crowded that morning. And um, it was actually a Tuesday. Here you can see, oh, happy lucky Buddha. Lots of um, precious moments. It was a nice selection, but to be honest, I did not pick up any figurines because, well, the last time I did, they're still hanging around uh, on my shelf. I mean, there was a good selection, but a lot of things were were flawed. Here you can see, that's a pretty vase. Bud vases. That's, um, that's nice, too. A little bunny. Looks like a bird uh, bath. Oh, look at this teacup. That is different. I'm not sure what that piece was for. Maybe a tea bag? Oh, that's a funny one. Dad life, dad bod, dad jokes. Moving on. These were nice. I always like to look at crystal. Different bowls, different, um, oh, creamers. That's a cute one. But there is a chip right there. Uh, on the rim. Oh, look at this. That is pretty. But I believe that um, rattan handle is uh, is broken. Here, went to look at some platters and serving bowls, pitchers. Dinnerware plates. Hmm. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Didn't get anything. Glassware. Nice. Very nice. I don't actually have a china cabinet. Moved on to purses. Hmm. No. Nope. Didn't find anything, but I, I think I did pick up a Vera Bradley, which uh, you'll see later. Then I went to the jewelry counter. Here you can see everything that is on display in the uh, behind glass. That bracelet was nice, but it's a stretch bracelet and it needed um, restringing. Here are some chunky items. No, didn't find anything here either. It was disappointing. Uh, no, no, and no. Move down to the bottom row. Oh, uh, no. Not quite. Moved on to the opposite side. Some things in boxes. I mean, that uh, Swarovski, um, yeah, that one had initials SCS. So, no, nah, I passed. So, let's see um, what I'll show now. So, that trip to Savers was pretty uh, uneventful. I wasn't e even able to get a jewelry jar. I haven't been there for about two months, and um, I found a couple items, but the good thing was I was able to donate three huge garbage bags of clothing and other items that I found in my home that I didn't need anymore. So this video will be really less than a handful of items that I found from Savers. But 
uh, I will add in many other items that I had acquired through um, purchases from YouTube resellers. So, besides jewelry, I think I do have a, a couple other things that I'll sprinkle in. So, we'll start off with this one here. This here is a gold tone necklace. Well, it has gold tone links. And then it has these beautiful brown acrylic links. I guess like a faux tortoise shell. There's no um, clasp. But there is a jewelry tag. And this is by, come on, don't be shy, J. Crew. This here has a 16 and a half inch drop. So it's a 33 inch long necklace. This will be number one, the J. Crew Gold Tone faux tortoiseshell link necklace. The next item are these beautiful blingy drop earrings. They're for pierced ears. They look brand new. They are glass, beautiful clear rhinestones with this blue. I love this blue color. And it even has these uh, teardrop shaped dangling components on the bottom. They measure three inches long. Let me show you the back of them. Foil back, open back on the bottom. Pierced ears. We have this one here. Really pretty. I could picture these on a uh, New Year's Eve party, Christmas party. This is number two. Next up, I have some stretch bracelets. Uh, they could be glass or stone. I know this is stone. This one, I'm not even sure. First one is um, black. It has a very strong elastic. I'm going to call these number 3A. 3B is this really fun one. That's glass. 3C, similar to 3B, but in blue. Three D. This looks like a, a, a little bit larger bead. This is clear with the white elastic inside. Three D and three E is this one. This has beautiful stones. So we have this. 3, 3A through E. Next up, I have brooches. This will be numbers 4A through E. The first one here is a red hat lady brooch. Beautiful enameling. She has rhinestones. Really tiny ones on the trim of the back of her top. She even has a little pocketbook that moves gold tone back about two and three quarter inches high she will be 4a 4b this one here is beautiful it's an angel this one here has a b coated rhinestones as well as clear ones about an inch and three quarters high by one inch wide. Really beautiful. Even has a little halo. This looks vintage. We have her and she will be for B. 
4C is a frog filled with rhinestones, clear ones on the body, green ones for the eyes, and then you have some design on its, I guess, uh, below the nose. You even have some black enameling spots. There's the back of this brooch. Looking at the pin, it is slightly bowed. The frog is about two inches. This will be 4C. 4D. This would be nice for your hairstylist or hair dresser. Nice pair of scissors. This is more like a I don't know, almost like a brass tone. Gold tone. I'll say it's gold tone. And then you have uh, leaves and flowers. There's the back of this one. This is about two inches as well. This will be 4D. And the last one here is a beautiful double heart, open double heart brooch with rhinestones on the, I guess, ribbons on either side. That's pretty. Let's look at the back. It has that um, design on the back of it. So I think this may be a 1928 brand. This here also measures in at about two inches. So we have this one here, and this will be for E. Okay, moving on. Next, we have this gorgeous necklace. It's gold tone. It has like a bib design. And these are glass. I would say they're like a midnight blue charcoal color. They're faceted. Their clothes back, this one here has a seven and a half inch drop, but it does have a three inch extender. So it can go from 15 to 18 inches in length. I placed it on here so I can easily move it around, but let me show it to you close up now. It has a lobster claw clasp. I didn't see any maker's mark or jewelry tag. The chain looks like so. It has a design where the, it looks like there's a line going through it. But here are the beautiful round faceted beads. Let me show you the back. All closed back, but nicely made. So we have this one here, and this will be, this will be number five. The next grouping that I have will be number six A through E. The first one is a beautiful clamper bracelet. It has like this figure eight design with some pave rhinestones in the middle. This is small. It's only uh, six and a half, I think. And it is marked stainless steel. Really adorable. So we have this one here, 6A. 6B is a beautiful, look how big these chips are. Those are amethyst, polished amethyst chips. And there's a couple um, silver tone beads throughout. 
this will be 6B. 6C is this gorgeous. I love this color. Uh, it is green with the, some charms hanging off of it, as you can see. I'll bring you in close. That's what it looks like. Even these charms have tiny little cabochons in the center. Really sweet bracelet. It has that clear elastic. We have that, and that is 6C. And the last one in this group is this here. Beautiful dyed shell. I love that. Uh, there's acrylic components within here. And you also have dangling um, beads. This here is on a white elastic. So we have this one here, very cute. And this will be 6D. Next up we have this. This is uh, by Vera Bradley. It is a uh, some type of pouch, I guess, with the kiss lock opening. When you open it up, it opens up into this plastic protected interior. There's the tag, Vera Bradley. It's very clean inside. Let's take a look at the outside. I do see some wear right there on the beads. Some minor scratching. Yeah, you see? Looking at the pattern, I don't know Vera uh, Bradley pattern names, but this is a nice one. It can use some spot cleaning, I guess, right there. Looking at it, I don't see any rips or loose threads. There's the bottom. Let's measure it. Going across, I would say it is approximately mm, seven and a half inches and maybe four and a quarter this way. Pretty nice. This one here will be number seven. Okay, next up I have this new grid, uh, the six items. This will be number eight, A through F. They are all hol holiday brooches. I know this uh, video will be posting on the 10th of December, which is a Sunday, and orders would be um, shipped out before the week is over. So even if you uh, are using Ground Advantage, I think it is called now, which is equivalent to first class mail, you would probably get everything um, not past the holiday. So let's go over these. The first one is a gold tone sleigh, sleigh? sled, <laughs> has enamel and rhinestones and even a dangling bell. Kind of substantial in weight. This one has um, that type of closure. Oh, it even has a sticker. Made in Taiwan ROC. So we have this one here, which will be 8A. 8B. This is my favorite. Glass. Beautiful prong set. Red, green rhinestones. And the flames are made up of these teardrop ones. That's the back of this. Looks to be in great condition. And that is 8B. 8C is in a box. It came with the box. Uh, kind of a ripped, ripped right there. And it had a clear um, cover. I'm making a mess here. Well, let me show you what was in the box. And it is this beautiful textured reindeer with holly.
I would say this is in brand new condition. Look at the how far that pin juts out. This is also signed right there. It says new view. So we have this beautiful reindeer brooch, 8C. And if you want the box, yeah, I'll include the box. Just let me know. 8D, this is nice too. This is a beautiful bell with um, a ribbon on top, red rhinestones, faux pearls, enameled leaves, AB coated rhinestones, really sweet open work. There's the back of this one. Oop, that pin almost hurt me. It's um, a C clasp. Here is 8D, 8C, this is beautiful. This is a very nice enamel candlestick brooch with the red enamel, the ivory opaque enamel center. And um, that's what it looks like on the back. This is in great condition as well. This is 8E. And the last one in this group, 8F, as in Frank, is this i guess they would be uh considered poinsettias and there you have the holly leaves red and green enamel textured gold tone mm, ribbons perhaps would you could wear it that way or sideways that's what it looks like on the back very clean is there a maker's mark? Yeah, there is. Let me take a quick look at it and tell you what it says. I believe this is Jerry's. So this is a Jerry's brooch. And that is 8F. There you go. Um, let's move on to more. Next in line, I have earrings. They are all for pierced ears. Uh, some are holiday uh, related, some are, I would say, maybe winter related. So this will be number nine, A through F. The first pair are these beautiful blue glass rhinestones with the Santa hats on them. The Santa hats are red enamel. Here you can see they are for pierced ears. That's the first pair, 9A. 9B are ornaments, rhinestone covered ornaments with black, uh, clear, and red rhinestones. Here you can see for pierced ears. I don't know. When I first looked at them, I thought they were Spider Man. Ah, silver tone setting, 9B. 9C, these are jingle bells, gold tone. They do have a little ringer on the inside, but. I don't know. I don't hear any ringing. There's holly on top in red and green enamel for pierced ears. 9C. 9D is a uh, really sweet snow globe with um, snowmen. One snowman. And yeah, that's for pierced ears. They look to be like a resin of some sort or maybe painted. So that is 9D. 9E is really sweet. They are candy canes in like a matte silver tone and red enamel. There, do you see those? And these are hook earrings. 9E. 9F, beautiful hook earrings, gold tone with rhinestones. Christmas trees. And that's what they look like. So this group, 9A through F. Okay, I think this will be the last of the holiday items. In fact, um, all of these will be craft items. Uh, so they would be only a dollar a piece. This will be 10, A through F. And the first one is a child's acrylic bead stretch bracelet with the little Christmas tree charm, 10A. 10B is a really nice Christmas tree 
brooch. But looking at it closely, I mean, you really can't tell, but I had to look at it closely. I do see some missing rhinestones where the gold is. So we have this brooch. And then, which is 10B. 10C is another stretch bracelet. And this one has red and green acrylic beads, as well as silver balls and beads hanging off the bracelet. 10C. 10D is a brooch, and this is a gold tone bells. But due to the fact that I do see some enamel loss on the ribbons and on the green portion, I don't know, that looks to be a little washed out. This one here will be 10D. 10E, this is a tack pin. Gold tone candlesticks, white enamel, red rhinestones, tack pin. 10E. And the last one, 10F, this one here is a brooch. Isn't that a pretty cabochon center? It has enameling. You know, I don't see nothing wrong with it. Uh, it is a brooch, but I do see a ring right there. So perhaps you can place a jump ring on that and wear this as a pendant. So I think that's it for the holiday jewelry. 10A through F. All right, let's see what else I have. Okay, next up I have a religious lot. Uh, as you can see, they're made up of pendants and... Here's a little charm of a gold tone wing. This here is a silver tone necklace with the cross and the chain is 16 inches long. And there is a, what is that? A lobster clasp. These two charms in front are sterling. Um, I will test them at the end to show you so. One is of a angel. It, this one is marked 925 Italy. The one on the right is marked Sterling. And there you can see. And then all the other charms. This one here is a beautiful, I think that's a two-tone cross with a open heart. And I believe a little flower in the center. But I don't know. I think that's missing. It could be missing a rhinestone in the middle. What do you think? Um, the back of this is marked 120th, uh, 14K gold filled and some other symbols. Here is a pendant. Silver tone. Pray for us, Italy. This one here is another pendant. It look, looks like an eye. Here is another pendant. Is that a rhinestone in the middle? It looks like it. Oh, double sided. This one here is wings. I believe the Blessed Mother. And there it is what it looks like on the back of that so yeah nine pieces i believe three six yeah nine and uh this will be number 11. next up i have this beautiful necklace i've had this for quite some time it is a brand new on card so i guess it's a new old stock it is by pilgrim Pilgrim is a um, family-owned business started in 1983 by Anmet uh, Mark Markvad, and um, she started designing and selling jewelry at festivals uh, throughout Scandinavia and Germany. So she is a Danish-based. All her jewelry is made by hand, handcrafted, nickel-free. They're plated with either real gold or silver. 
and they used brass or zinc as uh, the base metal. So they do have a website. Uh, I think it's on here. Let's see. Pilgrim.dk. But I looked at Pilgrim.ca just to see what um, what she's been up to. And uh, she has a lot of additional things on the site now uh, besides jewelry. Uh, I think it's uh, accessories such as uh, sunglasses. So this here necklace is more like a, I would say, brass tone snake chain it does have an extender which measures in at three inches the drop on this necklace is seven inches so i guess it could be 14 to 17 inches in total and look at these beautiful enameled flowers with the hanging leaves and even the flowers have like a gold design gold tone design going through them the petals and the rhinestones uh, maybe amber tone very nice let's look at the back there's the back, closed back, and there you see Pilgrim. And I believe there's a jewelry tag at the end of the extender, which says Danish design. Let's see what it says on the up. It says Pilgrim on the other side. And it still has the tag on it. So we have this brand new, new old stock beautiful green enamel floral necklace by pilgrim and this will be number 12. next up another item that i have that is new old stock it is brand new with tag it is a kate landry evening purse this is pretty hard to find this is um gunmetal tone as you can see there's the chain let me measure this first before I pick it up. This one here has a length of, I would say, where's the end? Oh, a little over eight inches long. And now let me show it to you. It is made up of, okay, see the purse underneath? It's like a, a black satin. And then you have all these dangling beads in black and silver bugle beads all around this is the top of it there's the chain the tag just says black Kate her name got cut off it's Landry and let's open it so here's the top really ornate design in this uh, square and then you see here there's a little kiss lock right there I believe there's two beads and what you do is you just slide that open it opens up into a very deep purse it goes all the way down the interior is the same fabric as the exterior and there you can see i think you can see her nameplate right there kate landry awesome little purse can you picture this at a really nice New Year's party, Christmas party, club. So we have this. I think it's so fun. 
Kate Landry evening purse. This will be number 13. Okay, the next item I have are Hunter Rain Boots. These are the iconic play boot in what they call uh, zinc gray. And um, they look to be in pretty good shape. I mean, the bottom, I do see, you know, there's some dirt right there. So I guess they've been worn hardly. Is the other one and um, these are rubber boots of course 100% uh, recycled polyester lining and stay inside I mean they look really clean uh, they are 100% waterproof they're the pull-on style it has a six inch shaft um, height the heel is a uh, one and a half inches. It's 100% vegan. Looking these up, I mean, they're all over the place. I see them for 120 at Dick's Sporting Goods. I see them for 160 at Nordstrom's. I've even seen them on Amazon from anywhere from 89 to 115, I believe. But, um, let me show you what size they are. It says, what does that say? I really need reading glasses. UK 5, European 38, US 7. Well, you know, I tried them on. I'm an 8 and... They fit perfectly. So, UK 5, US 7, they say. It's kind of like, um, I don't know if you ever wore uh, Uggs. Like, even though I wear a size 8, I buy size 7 in Uggs. So, here you can see the outside of this one. Here, I'll go, I'll go through each one individually. There you see the iconic hunter, little wedge heel, here's the bottom, no heel drag at all. There's the front, has that nice tab you use to pull, pull it on. Here's the inside, there's a sticker right there. So that is the right shoe. Let's look at the left one. Here. You see one side, here's the front, here's the opposite side, here's the back, here's the bottom, and the inside. So we have this pair of hunter rain boots and i'm gonna say this will be number 14. and the very last item for this uh sale is this beautiful bracelet look at these clear crystal rhinestones Beautiful condition. It is gunmetal in tone. It is signed right there. As well as on the fold over clasp. This is a Givenchy or Givenchy, whichever way you like to pronounce it. Let me uh, just connect that. Snaps very securely. There is the logo this measures in at six and three quarter inches and it's beautiful this is number 15.
So that's a wrap on this uh, very diverse type of sale. Like I said, went to Savers, didn't find much. Uh, I would say l maybe two or three items were from Savers. Uh, this is not one of them. And um, everything else was from um, my current inventory. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me that thumbs up. And if there's anything you would be interested in purchasing all you need to do is email me at dragonflybees at gmail.com i use paypal to invoice and i use pirate ship to ship your order i use calculated shipping which means whatever it costs to ship to you is what you you'll be charged and um please comment below I love to read your comments, and I think that's about it. Oh, instructions. They're at the end of the video, but I also always include them below in the description box. If you're not registered, please do. Um, there's instructions as to what, I, what information I would need, and uh, subscribe. There's a subscribe button here in order to get in on these subscriber only uh deals and uh i think i covered it all <laughs> i hope i did so thank you everyone for tuning in thanks for watching spending time with me and i'll see you real soon okay bye mm -hmm.